So now that we have our scrollers patched in, let's talk a little bit about controlling them. First, I'm going to select them, 6, channel, 20, through, and I'm going to give them some intensity. Now, in order to work with any of the non-intensity parameters of the console, we're going to work mainly in the encoder area on top. The first thing we need to do is tell the console that we're going to work in color. So I'm going to hit the color button. If we take a look on our first encoder, we see that it's the color option for scrollers. Right now, it's in no color. I can change this just by spinning my encoder. And as I do, I'm going to jump right through all of my different scrolls. If I know a particular frame that I want to go to, like 12, I can enter 12 and tap the encoder, and it'll jump right to that frame. With this particular scroller, I went through the scroll editor and told it exactly what frames were in it. So I can push and hold this encoder and see exactly which colors are there and select R07, and it'll jump right to it. That's only there if you've gone through and made your scroll. So a little bit of work up front can make your life a lot easier when working with scrollers. If we take a look at the channel view of our live tab, we can see that this information for scrollers is listed right below the channel. We've got the channel, then its intensity, and then what scroll it is. Notice the number in the beginning, that's what frame, and the text field that follows. That's that custom information we've given it so that it knows what we're working with. As I change this, using the encoder, notice it scrolls right through. This is a great way to see exactly what frame your scrollers are in.